So one of the questions was, is it possible to attain proficiency to hunt rabbits, deers, wolves, and bears at the same time? So this is an old thing we used to kind of talk this about. This is a prime example. Yeah. Initially, the philosophy was that women come in three categories. Rabbits, deers, and bears, right? Rabbits being very calm and timid. Very frail, fragile, frail women easily just scared easily away. Easily scared away, easily offended, whatever. Deers are kind of like um, where you got to be, you know, you need to be respectful, but you can be more honest, but not. Uh, and bears are aggressive, kind of abusive women who you need to meet with them, meet them with the same kind of energy in order to get the respect from them, right? And we always talk about this in terms of you have these different categories. And so it's, it's sort of like we were trying to create a flow chart where we were really trying to create a flow chart where, okay, identify what you're chasing, identify what you like, and then this is the technique for that. Since then, we, I think we've, we've, we've evolved and said, if you are um, being the best version of yourself, if you understand what your value is. So here's an example. I will often get questions about, yo, I met this girl on Tinder, or I met her on Instagram, and we were supposed to hook up, and then she flaked, and then da-da, da 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 Yo, what's the technique? What's the best way to do this? What's the best? People always want, they want the answer. Now, he, the fact that you're asking the question infers a few things. It infers that you don't think that you should be in this game in the first place. It means that you're already playing above your head. Reason being, because if you, if you say if you're playing, uh, uh, if you, you, you're boxing, you only strategize when you think that you're fighting somebody who is out of your league. So you need to go in with a game plan, right? But when you feel as though you are you're, you're, the person that you're, you're matched up with is not even in your class, there's, you don't have to, you know what you do, right? You know how to adjust on the fly. You just get in the game and you, and you, you, you do what you do. How long should I call a girl after we went out on a date? You should call the girl when you want to. Now, there's all these rules about, you know, you should do this two days later, three days later. Don't do too much. Don't do. Well, yeah, I can teach you the technique of it and what those, what those techniques communicate. But the reality is, if you like somebody and you think that you're worthy of this person that you're, that you're going after, so you call them the next day. Hey, what's up? I had a great time. Such and such and such and such and such. And if they're going to go, oh, this dude, this dude's on my dick because he called me the next day, this is something you already know that you're dealing with somebody who doesn't, who is already trying to, they're already playing they're games already unappreciative they're already but they're already playing difficult. games because they're going oh you you call me too early so you like me too much so because you like me too much i don't like you i'm gonna take advantage of you i'll say this though from my end something that i had to get over with uh, over from was that i did like women too much early on because my value was so low though that was part of it That's so what I'm any saying. woman who would give me attention I was super eager and thrilled with that attention. So I had, I had to do two things. One, I had to learn to hold back because I was super over eager. But as time went on, I, my value became higher to myself because I got some wins under my belt and I, and I knew I was a good person, man. I'm a good person to hang out with. And if you don't want, it gets to the point where even with rejection, it didn't hurt as much because you're like, listen, I know what my skills are. I know what I bring to the table. If you don't want to, if you don't want to hang out, you don't want to be on this party train, then that's on you to be right. quite honest. It's silly see, saying it, but if you don't, if, that's on I'm, you. All right, good. You did me a favor. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man.